boy eBay fight predictions in the building. And this is your Marvin Vittori versus Roman Delizzi breakdown. I love this fight. This fight is an iconic fight. Um, but we all know we team Marvin in this building. Uh, and I, man, Roman's been on a good fucking run though. It's, it's hard to deny him. And then obviously his Georgian brother, Rob Dubbers, really did his thing. So it kind of makes you feel like, oh shit. And obviously Marvin's coming off that loss. So a lot of people are like, hey, is Marvin done? Da, 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 da. But, um, here's how I look at this matchup, right? Honestly, real talk. Marvin's coming off a loss. Roman's on a big win streak. Marvin's doing a little bit of gatekeeping work. And Roman's trying to become a legitimate contender in the top five. Now, we just see, we saw the end of Derek Golden, uh, Godly Brunson. You know what I'm saying? We saw the end of it. But um, my thing about the whole entire situation with the matchup and these, you know, middleweight contenders kind of dropping like flies uh, in the top five is kind of changing right now. Uh, my thing is, I've always thought. Marvin Vittori was one of these middleweights that's here to stay. Roman Lewis is awesome, and I think he'll he'll be around for a long time. But right now, you look at the age. Marvin's 29. He's 34. They're, they're on a completely different kind of uh, pathway. Marvin's fought for the belt before. He hasn't. Uh, and then different levels. Now, Roman, this is his last year of his real legitimate prime, and he's going for it, and he's going to go for gold, and, and respect to him, but I just don't think Marvin's the guy that's going to just sit there and let him take his spot, uh, and that's just how I'm being being quite honest about it, um, and let's look at the stats. Obviously, Marvin comes a record of 18-5-1. and five and one. Uh, He's fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada now. Uh, he's not fighting out of Long Beach. He's uh, with um, Extreme Couture, those guys that... Uh, Eric Nixon and Dewey Cooper and all them cats. Uh, so that's who he's with. Um, and, and yeah, man, uh, high to six foot and reaches 74. Um, and he's 29 years old. Roman DeLizzi comes a rec record of 12 and 1. Roman used to fight at Extreme Couture, but I guess he left or whatever. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, he's fighting out of Ukraine, I guess. Uh, age 34, high to 62 and reaches 76. So, I mean, hey, Roman does have the reach advantage here, which is going to be interesting. Um, but even though Roman's the longer fighter out of the two, I would still say Marvin's the better striker. Marvin's proven he's the better striker. We've seen him outbox guys like Paulo Costa and have really good moments against guys like Jack Hermanson on the feet. Uh, but you could say, hey, man, Roman finished Jack Hermanson and, uh, when Marvin Vittori went five rounds with him. But yeah, uh, that, and that is true. But uh, when I look at the situations with Roman Delizzi and his four or five win streak, I respect it, man. You know, beating Jack Hermanson the way he did, Phil Hawes, uh, Kyle Dacus, and then uh, Steropoli, which who who's Steropoli. But, man, those three wins, uh, Dacus, Phil Hawes, and especially Jack Hermanson, the way he did that was spectacular. But a lot of these fights are weird, right? So he catches Kyle Dacus with the knee and the clinch. Okay, hooray. Then he fucking le legitimately breaks uh, Phil lost his whole entire knee, and then Phil continues to fight, and then gets KO'd for it. So, weird situation, right? Um, and then he fights Jack Hermansa, which I felt like he was losing the fight. He did a lot of beautiful stuff off of his back. The grappling from Roman DeLizzi is really an S-tier level of grappling. I love his grappling. It's awesome to watch. Um, but, <laughs> sir, uh, Hermansa was obviously winning the fight on the feet, and if Hermanson just didn't take him down at the moment he took him down, I think he probably wouldn't have lost that fight. And that's really what happened, in my opinion. Uh, is Roman a god? Maybe he is. And he goes out there and destroys Hermanson and Marvin back to back. But I do not think he's that guy. I think he's just, he's obviously improved. But I just do not think he's that guy that's going to go out there and finish both Hermanson and Marvin back. I just don't. I don't. I, don't, I, I, I choose not to believe it. Alright, respect him, he's on a good run, but he's not that guy, he is not that guy, okay, you Georgian fanboys, he's not, alright, he's not Ilya Toporia, uh, or he's not even Marab, alright, I know some people hate Marab, but he's not Marab, okay, um, but yeah, um, but Marvin, uh, we look at what Marvin's accomplished. Yeah, he's coming off that loss to Robert Whitaker. But besides that, he's beating guys like Paulo Costa, Kevin Holland, Jack Hermanson, 
Carl Roberson, Andrew Sanchez. He's beaten some uh, some solid uh, competition. He went to a split decision with Israel Adesanya, went to a draw uh, with Omar Akhmadov, then he lost to Adesanya in the rematch. Um, but he has beaten some good guys, and he's proven he's proven to be a legitimate guy in this division, man. And I don't think there's no guys that's gonna take his spot for real, for real, real talk. No guys named fucking Roman Delizzi, right? Um, so in this matchup, uh, here's what I think. I think Roman obviously. He's probably going to want this to be a dirty, grimy kind of fight in the clinch, dirty boxing t uh, re with wrestling at some points. Um, and obviously, he wants to use those long arms he got. And he has some power uh, to really disrupt uh, Marvin because Marvin's been so much of a punching bag lately. But I just think Marvin's head movement and his boxing fundamentals are just a lot better than Roman DeLizzi. Yes, Roman has the longer arms. I'll give Roman that. But Roman doesn't really have the the boxing technique of Marvin. I know some people might go kill me for it, but Marvin's just a better, he's a better striker than Roman. Uh, and in the wrestling, I I would say they're, I, I would say they cancel out. Uh, and But if anyone's to engage with the offensive grappling, I think it's going to be Vittori. Um, and I, I could see Roman going for a takedown, but I think if Vittori gets it on the ground, he can just outwork Roman. He has a better gas tank than Roman Delizzi. I've seen Roman get get hurt a few ten a few times by guys like Trevin Giles. If Trevin Giles can do that to you, what the fuck is Marvin Vittori gonna do to you? You know what I'm saying? Uh so I I gotta rock with Vittori here. I think Vittori is the obvious pick. Um I know Vittori's coming off a a horrible loss where me and the whole entire Vittori fan club took a big L that year. But I think it's comeback season, baby. I think Vittori is just going to put it on him. And I think Vittori also going to Thailand and doing all the right things to get better. I think he might even throw some knees and some kicks. You never know. High, uh, high kick Vittori. All right, head kick KO master Vittori. You never know. But I, I think Vittori wins this fight, y'all. I'm sorry, man. It's just Vittori's better than him. He's just, he was born better than him, right? When both these guys were born, Vittori was born better. I'm sorry, my Roman Delizzi, Delizzi fanboys and fangirls, you're donezo, okay? This is Marvin Vittori's era, baby. So yeah, I, I gotta rock with Vittori by 29-28 decision. I think the first round is gonna be close, but those last two rounds, you gotta, you gotta give it to Vittori. I mean, Vittori's, he's the Italian dream, baby. So yeah, we team Vittori in this building. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Like, comment, share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. Love y'all and goodbye.